Subscribe and hit that bell icon to be notified about the highlights of India's smartest podcast, The Ranveer Show. This is TRS Clips. I remember when I started meditating in life. Uh, I decided to meditate every day, and I actually sat to meditate every day. Mm-hmm. And I used to feel calmer after the meditation. Mm-hmm. But uh, I think on the fourteenth or fifteenth day, like two weeks into meditating every day for twenty minutes, uh-huh. I happened to read something on Facebook or Instagram about gratitude. Mm-hmm. And uh, I thought that okay, today in my meditation, let me begin by just saying a thank you to whatever the higher powers. I didn't even want to call it God, mm-hmm. even though I knew somewhere in my heart that it is God. Mm-hmm. I didn't. No one was. I was just twenty-two, and I think that's where my spiritual journey really started with wow. the meditation. Yeah, that's nice. But on that particular day, when I had that, you know, uh, kind of underlying base of gratitude, mm-hmm. the meditation was deeper. And by the time I reached about the eighteenth or nineteenth minute, mm-hmm. when my eyes were shut, I just felt like someone had put a bright light in front of my face, mm-hmm. and I saw a lot of light. Mm. And I opened my eyes to see is the light on, but it wasn't. The lights were off. Uh huh. I closed my eyes and it was dark again. But the moment I started meditating again, the light came back on, mm-hmm. and then it stayed on, and then it just went off after some mm-hmm. time. And then I realized, okay, I need to wake up out of this. Mm-hmm. So I got up and I called up my mentor at that time, my spiritual mentor. Mm-hmm. And I said that what is happening, mm-hmm. and he said that no, seeing light in your meditation is a very good thing. Uh-huh. It happens to people. Uh-huh. I'm sure, sir, you've experienced this mm-hmm. multiple times. Yes, yes. And you know, for there are a lot of people who listen to this podcast who meditate. I'm sure there are many people who seen this level of light mm-hmm. when they're meditating. Yes. So, what do you have to say about that light? Actually, light is uh, the first introduction to the Supreme Lord. Lord is not just light. We can't take God so lightly. <laughs> God is just light. God is much more than light. Actually, just like uh, just like in the studio, there is light. But light is coming from the bulb. But somebody enters the room, he may not see the bulb, but he may just see the light. Well, yes, in the studio, yeah, light is there. But light is coming from the bulb. You will see that um, in this world there are there is form as well as formlessness. So light is formless, but formless thing always comes from a form. Like for example, my voice is formless, but voice is coming from the person. He is having a form. Mm. That person is having a form. Just like air is formless, but air is coming because because of the fan. But fan has a form. Mm. The fragrance is formless, but the flower has a form. So from the flower comes a fragrance. Like for example, say uh, there is a bell. So that sound is formless, but that bell bell is having a form. But first introduction is tan. So I got introduced to the formless aspect, the sound or the fragrance. but when we keep on meditating then we realize that actually god is not just light light is coming from some entity that spiritual divine entity and that is god so this is effulgence of the lord basically like in the chronicles of islam also like musa once he saw the lord he said that oh lord i want to see you and the lord said well you cannot handle my grace my effulgence he said no no i can handle i can do that and then uh, lord said okay all right so he showed his a uh, personality and because the form was so effulgent so he could not handle it so that's why so he got fainted so lord said i told you that you cannot handle it he said oh lord kindly reduce this effulgence so that i can see you and similar thing also comes in isha upanishad in the scriptures where the devotee is saying oh lord please kindly reduce this effulgence around you so that i can see you so effulgence is coming from the lord that light is coming from the lord but that's the first introduction that's the first introduction but when we keep when we stay there and we pray to the lord that oh lord i know you cannot be seen on my own strength you can be seen only by your grace the sun can be seen only in sunlight there is no other way to see the sun i cannot take the candle that let us see the sun where is the sun sun tomorrow morning sunrise on time all right you can't do that sun is only visible by its own sun by its own light similarly god can be seen only by his own grace nor by our own strength but yes but when we keep praying to the lord that oh lord i cannot see you i know this is your effulgence please let me penetrate through this effulgence and see your divine form then we can see the form actually actually there are four curtains between us and the lord uh, there are three curtains satogun rajagun tamogun which are on our side and then there is one more curtain which is of his light that's the fourth curtain so th- somebody might have penetrated all of these curtains so of satorajotamo first is tamo then there is rajo then there is sato 
and even after removing these three curtains there is still light the fourth curtain so again these curtains are also removed by the lord by the grace of the lord and similarly this curtain which is of the light is also being removed by the lord when he becomes very happy by our devotion then he makes us see his divine form mm. so we are to persistently be there do not get settled with the light mm. there's someone who from whom the light is coming mm. but what do you make of it if you actually see the light in your meditation is that that's a sign for you to keep yeah. going yeah that means keep going you are in right direction that's the first introduction introduction mm. move on and more you become the spirit of service in your meditation then he reveals his form otherwise if i just want to experience it what is meditation like, okay okay let, let me experience it so then god can just give the light part which is actually the light part like the lighter part mm. his form is the heavier part nama mishuram sachidananda roopam he is having sachidananda roop he is having transcendental form ishwara mm. paramakrishna sachidananda vigraha he is sachidananda vigraha that means he is having transcendental form and that's why bible also mentions god made man in his own image that means god also has image mm. god is not formless god is having an image but his image is divine our image is made of flesh and bones but his image is divine sachidananda vigraha mm. but that is also covered by there is a wheel of light but that's the first introduction mm.